in the movie about how there were corrupt agents who stole over a million dollars from the site. What it doesn't explain is that these two agents were, had high-level admin access to the site. They were computer experts, and they had basically the keys to the kingdom. They could do anything they wanted on that site, pretty much. They could, um, they had passwords, they could change PIN numbers, they could commandeer accounts and actually act as DPR and other aliases. They um, could change and manipulate, edit chats, posts on the forum and the marketplace. They had access to bank accounts, keys, and this evidence was used at trial that they had access to change and had every motive to change to distract from what they were doing. Um, and our, even now, we don't know the full extent of this corruption. Um, our, our lawyers say we know the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of undisclosed information that the government apparently is not interested in revealing. Um, there were numerous encrypted emails by these agents. They remain encrypted. Um, just recently, Sean Bridges it came out that he had also stolen an additional $700,000. Um, our lawyers learned about this from the media, not from the government, who is obliged to disclose this kind of information. So there's, in my opinion, a whole, whole lot more to what happened that we do not know yet and may never know about what was tampered with and what happened on that side. And Lynn, it's true, uh, correct, that the lead investigators in this case are now in jail for fraud and corruption, correct? Right, for basically their massive corruption scheme, uh, they are in prison serving seven and six years. However, Ross, who's nonviolent, peaceful libertarian, who had no priors and no charges of anything violent at all, was given double life without parole plus 40 years. Um, as Andy Greenberg, he asked, he said, has anyone ever been more harshly sentenced or punished for something they did with a computer? Um, his weapon, according to them, was a keyboard. Not an automatic weapon, not a bomb, not a knife, nothing violent. No victims came forward to say that Ross had harmed them in any way or were named. Um, I feel, and I hadn't said this before because I thought it might be hyperbolic to say that Ross is a political prisoner, but since then, um, the other sentencing of other people involved in Silk Road has come, made me come to believe it is. The biggest drug dealer on Silk Road, he was convicted of selling mountains of drugs, he got 10 years. The biggest cocaine and heroin seller on Silk Road got five years. A top admin during the height of Silk Road got 17 months time served. The agents got seven and six years respectively, and just recently, the guy who was running Silk Road 2 got eight years, and Ross got double life without parole. So why the disparity, which is actually illegal? You, uh, the Sentencing Reform Act says that you cannot have this kind of disparity. It's out of proportion. But um, I, the, the judge cited the libertarian philosophy of the site, she cited posts on the site that she said were troubling and dangerous because they said the government was the enemy. And um, I believe they had to have an example. I believe that he is there for a platform, not for a product, not for drugs, but because he was never charged with actually selling drugs. Um, but for this platform that I believe was very threatening. Um, a, a, a platform that operates anonymously on the Tor network with cryptocurrency I think the government thought was dangerous, and they needed an example, and uh, they got their example. So, of course, the movie doesn't go that far, it ends with the trial, but um, the travesty of justice continues. And Tatiana, you visited Ross in prison. Can you tell us like, what that was like and your personal experience with this? 